This is the Addison, Texas they haven't shown you. Addison, Texas. So as requested in today's video, we're gonna cover everything you need to know about Addison, Texas. We're gonna give you a map tour and show you where Addison is located in proximity to all the other spots around the DFW. I'll also show you a few of my favorite restaurants and bars that me and my friends go to on a regular basis. Next, I'm gonna take you into arguably the best mall in the Metroplex and do a little shopping. We will round everything out and take a look at some of the real estate in the area so you know what to expect once you figure out Addison. And before I forget, my name is Mark and I'm your realtor here in Dallas. And if you wanna be the first to learn about the market here in Dallas, then subscribe and tap the notification bell as we drop new videos weekly. So if you're moving in the next nine days or 90 days, you know, just give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email and we'd be happy to make it a smooth move down to the Lone Star State. All right guys, so I wanted to show you a little bit about Addison, kind of where it is in proximity to some of the other areas around the Metroplex. I'm gonna give you a quick little map tour. We're gonna to sum this up in about two to three minutes, and then we're gonna take you along and take you to a lot of the places that I really enjoy around Addison. And what we'll do is just kind of show it to you on the map, how far it is from Dallas, how far it is from the airport, and a couple other places as well. And then we'll move on and kind of show you around Addison itself in the rest of the video. So as we start, right, so you can see Addison, Texas is right here, and downtown Dallas is gonna be right down here guys right so Addison is going to be the highways that are going to be running through Addison is going to be Dallas North Tollway and you might as well say 635 as well so the thing about Addison that you're going to notice is it's only really it's a small little city right it's not that big it's like four square miles but there's it packs a punch there's a lot going on in that area so now let's get some directions of how far Addison is from other places in the Metroplex even right now on Dallas North Tollway as you can see it's about 38 minutes from Addison to the heart of downtown now if it wasn't during rush hour which it is right now it's kind of why we have that big red these big red streaks right here as far as lines go it'll probably take 20 minutes at best if you're running down Dallas North Tollway now this is going to be a tollway that you will have to pay for um, but if you're running from Dallas all the way up to Frisco Prosper or any of these other cities uh, you're gonna be using the tollway anyway and um, now in regards let's see how far this is from Frisco so Addison to Frisco right now is gonna be about 30 minutes and again that's with the traffic if you didn't have the traffic it'll probably take you 15 at best like I said the tollway is usually wide open so you can get up there to Frisco fairly easy now let's check out and see how far Addison is from Plano. So as you see right here, we're looking at about 20 minutes. And again, this is fairly good right now because there's not a lot of traffic going on in this area as far as getting through Addison. So getting over to Plano and the heart of Plano, take you about 15, 20 minutes, nothing too crazy. I like Addison a lot because it's like a central city and some of the other cities like Plano, Frisco, they're also in pretty good areas as well, but Addison is smack dab in the middle of everything, right? So if you're trying to get to Frisco up here, then you have Addison right here. You're trying to get to Plano, you're right here. If you're trying to get over to the stadiums and down to Arlington, um, that's right over in this area, right? Right down in here. Let's see how far Addison is from the airport. So to get to Addison from the airport, that's giving you about 25 minutes, and this is pretty much clear. Like I said, you're gonna be on the George Bush Tollway all the way to 635 here. This will bring you straight down into the airport. Now, if you guys didn't notice, if you guys didn't know, the airport here, you do have to pay a toll, it's a two-hour toll to go in there just to drop somebody off and come back out. So they use this airport as a, an alternate route around traffic sometimes. So if you were to enter here and come down through here and it's less than eight minutes, they're gonna charge you $6. So you kinda gotta take your time a little bit when you're coming through there if you're just trying to pass through but it's a two dollar toll when you go to drop anybody off at the airport so now let's take a look and see how far addison is from fort worth so getting to fort worth is going to be 48 minutes right now probably you might be looking at an hour to just round it up and call it that from the most part guys uh addison is a really cool spot as far as proximity to everything that you can want um, I really like going over in there and we're gonna so we're gonna see a lot of the shops restaurants We're gonna see some bars. We're gonna see places like the parks We're gonna see a whole bunch of things that you'll really like and I can't wait to show it to you So let's go ahead and hop into this video now if you're a 30 something whether you're single or coming down as a couple And you know you want to be in the mix while still getting your grown and sexy on then Addison is probably one of the best destinations for you to me, I feel like downtown Dallas is a great spot, but it can be where a lot of, you know, say 20 somethings hang out. And if you're looking 
looking for more of a mature vibe to live, eat, and play, then Addison is honestly the best of both worlds. You know, back in my single days, me and my boys would definitely hang out up here on a regular basis. This is like downtown Dallas 2.0. It's a bit smaller in size as, you know, the city ironically only is about four square miles, but it still packs a really big punch. There's so many restaurants and honestly, the day parties are really lit. And it's hands down one of the best locations in terms of proximity than any other city around the Metroplex. Here in Addison, I believe 80% of the residents are renters and the median income is around $75,000. Niche.com ranks Addison as the number one suburb for young professionals. Now, the population in Addison is really only 22,000 people, but during the weekdays, that number swells to nearly 110,000. And that's because Addison is like another metro inside of the Metroplex. Addison is home to over 600 different companies and some big household names are also headquartered here. Companies like Mary Kay Cosmetics and it's easy to notice them because you'll see these pink Cadillacs rolling all around town. Pizza Hut has a corporate office here as well. You have Concentra Health Services planted in this area. Systemware and Zurich are heavy hitters. All of these industries employ the young talent that live in this area and the economic growth keeps rising year over year. So let's start here at Village on the Parkway. Now, VOP is a staple here in Addison and it features numerous shops, restaurants, grocery stores, and one-of-a-kind boutiques as well. This is truly a place you can catch an Uber and then let the vibe take over. You know, you have a ton of restaurants to choose from, like Vador, which is this modern Mexican at its finest. Uh, the name literally translates to the good life. And if you have one of their margaritas, you will quickly understand why. You know, they serve everything from street tacos to fire-roasted salmon, flaming fundido, to authentic red velvet tres leches cakes. I'm telling you, this one doesn't disappoint, especially on Cinco de Mayo. Another personal favorite of mine is going to be Pluckers. Now, no disrespect to you Wingstop and Buffalo Wild Wing lovers, but Pluckers Pollo is putting all that shit to shame. Listen, their wings are the perfect mix of juicy tender inside with the crispy crust that we all love. Not to mention the amount of flavors you can have are endless. As for the spicy lemon pepper, it's a thing of pure bliss. Add in a side of waffle fries and a pint of Budweiser and I'm ready for a Cowboys game with the crew. Now, if you're looking for a place to have a nice gathering with, you know, a larger group or corporate outing, then Sidecar Social has you covered. This is a 20,000 square foot social lounge that is designed to bring people together. This lounge has every adult game you can imagine. There are live bands that play on a regular basis. They have 18 foot TVs to watch the games on and an all season patio that is pet friendly as well. The food is great and the vibe is right. So if you haven't tried this one out yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. The village also has the AMC theater park smack dab in the middle of it all, which makes it easy to come and see the newest movie with your fam. Another great spot for a date night would be, you know, what we like to call stir. Now for me, it's all about the vibe in this one. I've had their food and you know, it's all right, but I don't necessarily go there for that. I go there for the rooftop bar where the night really begins. It has a nice panoramic view of the entire area. You know, they have some fire cocktails and modern decor that makes this a great bar for pregame. They have hip hop DJs on the weekend and I've seen all kinds of birthday parties and bachelorette dinners happening here on the weekend. Now to round out the food in this area, I can't leave out mentioning Gloria's Latin cuisine. Now Gloria's has the the strongest frozen margaritas in the Metroplex, bar none. This is truly an authentic El Salvadorian food. I mean, if you're looking to try something different, this will not disappoint. The food is fresh and the service is definitely on point. And don't let me forget that after dining hours, it turns into a nice little salsa lounge where they pull out the tables and then you transport yourself over to Little Havana. I've definitely taken the wife a time or two and we have an amazing time each and every visit. But all in all, you would love this area when you come on down to Addison, Texas. Hey, if you made it this far and you know you feel like you've gotten any value, would it be a crazy the idea if you go ahead and like the video you know it helps tell the algorithm more people need to see this content and you know it really helped me on my mission to bring the best content about living here in Dallas also if you're wanting any info about some of the best properties in the Metroplex on or off the market then we just launched our new mobile app I'll link it down in the description below but now let's get back to the video better spot to unwind a bit than Addison Circle Park. Look, this park is definitely a nice breakup from the concrete jungle which surrounds this area. The park is designed with European influences. It really reminds me of some of those areas in Italy that give you this old world type of charm. You know, there's different art installations which makes it not only a great place to enjoy nature, but take in some of the art as well. You know, they host different events and concerts throughout the year from live performances to cultural celebrations. I believe the next event is going to be October 
Oktoberfest with all the beer you can drink from all over the world. This park also has a nice little water feature with a reflecting pool that's nice to sit by and relax. Should you have a dog, this park is definitely dog friendly, so you can bring your pets along for a nice walk in the evenings. Should you be into fitness, there are little fitness stations that you can use. And if you're here during the summer months, they have actually jazz in the park for my more eclectic subscribers. My family and I definitely come out here and throw down a blanket, you know, grab some finger food, get a couple drinks and just listen to some smooth jazz just to relax after a long week. Now, another popular area is going to be Vitruvian Park and Retail Center. Vitruvian Park is a natural spring-fed creek that runs through Addison. It's over 19 acres out here, guys, of prime green space that is centered around the park area, right? There's area for live performances. There's this nice water feature. There's a walkway that, you know, connects to other trails around Addison, should you want to be a runner or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? So the city even has plans to expand with athletic fields and art installations. You know, at, we come down here every year around Christmas time to look at the, the Christmas lights. You know, they light all of these trees up from head to toe. So it's really nice. It's one of the things my family really enjoys. It has so many crazy vibrant colors and ornaments. You know, my kids definitely love to come out here and run around and just take it all in, honestly. This area has some great retail attached to it, like Tom Thumb, which is this local grocery store. You know, there's Brookhaven Village Shopping Center. You know, that's where you're gonna have like a nail salon. They have a dog club there where you can take your pup should you need to have any type of grooming done. And then there's a few more retail shops attached as well to this area. So again, everything is right at your fingertips right here in Addison. Now, another thing that you you can do is go to my favorite golf club which is going to be Brook Brookhaven Country Club. This is this great place to go and you know drive a few down range. I definitely recommend it and if you have any questions about that you know just drop us a comment below. Now the name says it all and the Galleria Mall may be the biggest mall in the Metroplex. Spanning multiple floors and an extensive selection of retail stores. They have like Macy's, they have Nordstrom's, Armani Exchange, Club Monaco, Forever 21, you know, there's Gucci, Louis Vuitton, you have a Rolex store, you know, other top name brands sprinkled throughout these halls. You know, during the holiday seasons, the mall has different entertainment options like mini amusement parks and they have carousel rides. You know, they're known for their elaborate festival decorations, especially for Christmas. Now, my absolute favorite thing to do in this mall is to hit the skating rink. Now, I'm telling you guys, it's definitely a treat. My kids love to roll around the rink and during Christmas time, they put this gigantic Christmas tree up there and everybody just kind of rolls around it. So it's definitely a treat and something you have to check out here at the Galleria Mall. First up is going to be Vitruvian West. This is a stylish luxury apartment complex that has everything you could want and then some. Now, we're in here in their luxury clubhouse that you can book out if you would like to. Like I said, check out this great room. You have a nice kitchen where you can you know, host any type of gatherings that you want to have. They have a little dining area and area for sitting. So again, if you are looking for a really cool apartment complex, this is definitely going to be it. So in this complex, you get your state-of-the-art, one-of-a-kind gym. Like I said, in here you have everything you need. I'd come in here and get to work out if I could. Um, like I said, you have all your dumbbells, weights, you have treadmills, you have your stationary bikes, you have anything that you can need. Again, this is a beautiful, beautiful gym if you're thinking about getting a little bit of cardio. So I wanted to give you a quick tour of this two bedroom, two bathroom, 1100 square feet apartment. So when you come in, you have this nice open concept. You have the kitchen over there, but let's check out this living room first. Again, this would be perfect, ample amount of space. You have a nice little couch, a chair, put your nice little rug here, TV on the wall. So again, if you are just needed a, another extra room to have, you know, for your office, or if you were doing a roommate situation, I know rent since everything is crazy high right now, this would be a perfect, perfect apartment for that. So let's check out this balcony the area so as we walk out you have a nice view into a little courtyard like i said nice and quiet out there this uh, balcony is really big y'all you have plenty of room you want to set a little area over there to have seats come out here and kind of maybe get a couple push-ups in you never know how. so this is really cool i'm loving this this feature that they have with these balconies and they have different floor plans that have larger balconies some that overlook the pool we're going to take you down there in just a second but now let's check out this kitchen area so when you come into the kitchen, just take a look at this. You have stainless steel appliances everywhere, nice granite countertop on your island. I'm loving the pendant lighting they use, which is giving it this modern touch and modern feel, right? So they have these luxury vinyl planks as far as the, the wood floors. Again, the stainless steel Whirlpool appliances. And then I'm loving the color of these cabinets, the gray with the stainless steel. It's really, really giving you that modern vibe. And this backsplash is really gone. They have the hexagon tiles. So five burner induction 
uh, cooktop. Again, you have your nice oven there. So perfect little kitchen for you. Uh, everything you can need to make a good meal or just do some entertaining. And so these units do come equipped with washer and dryer. And I do think you have to rent them, but they do have those and you can have a little, maybe put your little shovel up there for any type of laundry needs you have, but that should definitely be perfect for you. Now let's go and check out the master bedroom. So as we go to the master bedroom, you have a little coat closet here, pretty standard. Then we come into this room. Now, both bedrooms are fairly similar in size, right? So enough room, ample room to have a nice, you know, king size bed, end table. You have your big walk-in closet here. Again, guys, so you're walking in, plenty of room for your clothes, anything you need to put in here, shoes, that sort of thing. So this would be ample enough space for you, especially if you're gonna be renting. Um, as we come into, now I'm loving this bathroom. Really, really nice, big uh, cabinet space. Really, really nice big as far as the vanity goes. Um, we have ample amount of space. It's, I love how wide this is. You get a lot more room. Usually in these bathrooms, you know how tight and congested it can be. And then you have your tub shower combo. Now this tub's a little bit bigger than the other one. This is more of that garden tub feel, but at the same time, pretty standard guys. And it's definitely, you know, upgrade from what we're seeing in some of the other apartments around the, around the area. So now let's go and check out this secondary bedroom. Now, before we make it to the secondary bedroom, you have the bathroom that, you know, your guests would use, but also who would maybe have a roommate, they'd be using that bath. They'd be using that bedroom there. So again, standard. I wish they would have brought this over a little bit more. This could have been larger, but at the same time, you have some vanity with your sink and then you have your tub shower combo. So now let's check out this secondary bedroom. So again, guys, like I said, these bedrooms are similar in size. Uh, this may be even a tad bit smaller, but again, you can fit a king size bed in here, TV on the wall, and you should be good to go. Again, plenty of ample storage in your closet. This one doesn't have as many shelves, but it's still similar in size. So if you wanted to you know, go to Walmart, get your little cabinet, something to put some of your trinkets, anything that you have, it'd be perfect for that. So now that you've seen the apartment, let's go check out this pool area. So the gym of this area is going to be this pool. Man, I'm telling you, this is like a Las Vegas resort style pool. Everything you can want. They have two different wading pools. You have, I think they're probably like four or five feet. But again, you have this one here, which is more of like a little lounge area. You got a nice TV. They have the speakers going. So in the summertime, guys, this is the coup de gras. I'm loving the big pots and plants that they have. So many vibrant colors. And then if you have one of these apartments here on the side, you have that looking down into the pool. So I, I, you could throw a crazy pool party here. Again, I love the other one as well. Well, that's going to be more for the wide openness and then you also have these cabanas but if you're looking for an apartment with a great pool area i mean how can you resist now as a realtor i wanted to show you one of the options for sale here in addison at this condo community called the meridian square now this condo is a three bed three bath with 2,000 square feet of interior space these homes remind me of being in new york city they're truly a thing of beauty these condos have access to a secure garage where you get two designated parking spaces and you're just minutes away from all the shops and restaurants that we showed you early in the video. So let's go on in and check these bad boys out. So as you come this way, you can see your open concept kitchen. You have your two-tone cabinets, white cabinets, and you have a light gray island. Again, you have the quartz counter shop, the L-shaped kitchen that comes all the way around. And this is massive, guys. So you have stainless steel fixtures. You have a two uh, garden sink with two sides to each side, right? I'm loving the stainless steel pools and handles that you have here. Stainless steel appliances as well, five burner gas stove. And then I'm loving and these oak floors guys these are beautiful the they have that light airy feel everything is white in here so it just makes it feel even more open than you know it actually is i love these pendant lightings and the fact they don't have those big bulky you know pendant lights these are really slick and sleek so it keeps everything open which you know you want that in a condo because you don't have that crazy amount of room so back over here you would have your laundry room in there and you have basically like a little pantry area here so as we come around let's go and check out your first bedroom so this would be your front door again solid wood that is straight mahogany so definitely a, a nice touch there and then you have your half you have a full bathroom here i'm sorry and so you have the nice glass enclosure and then we have a nice little area small little vanity but that's okay and as we come up this will be your first bedroom area here i would probably make this an office space because you have the window here letting in the natural light and it's plenty of space in here now this closet mm, kind of small but again, this would be an office for me if I was to use it or so, or maybe a baby's room if you had a small family. So as we come back out, let's go and check out your dining area. 
Now, before we make it to the dining area, you have your secondary bedroom here. Now, as we come through, big open windows letting in natural light. Again, plenty of space in here. And then you have your own ensuite bathroom as well. Again, you could fit a king size bed in here really easily, put your TV on the wall. This would be a perfect size bedroom for that. And then you have your ensuite bathroom as well. Again, they have the white subway tile, stainless steel appliances with the fixtures, and you have quartz countertops continuing the theme from the kitchen. So now let's go and head into this dining room. So as you come out, you have your dining room that is open to your open concept living area. Again, nice, you know, like I said, it's a condo. So this is quaint. This is perfect amount of space. Again, you could have a lot. It feels like a gallery in here, honestly. That's what I, that's what I feel when I'm in here, like here in New York City. So as we come along, like you can have a sectional over here. They have a nice little couch for the staging, kind of keep everything nice and open. You have your TV there. And like I said, it's plenty of space. You can look all the way to the front door from here. Everything is wide open. And that's what buyers these days really love. So now let's check out your balcony space. So as you come outside, you have a nice little balcony area. They have a whole dining table out here for a condo like you would be in the big city. But again, we're in Dallas 2.0, which is Addison. So again, you have all the shops and restaurants, everything that we talked about earlier are right around there. And you're right in the mix, guys. So this would be a perfect condo if that's the type of lifestyle you'd like. So as we come back inside, now we're gonna check out your master bedroom. So this bedroom is massive, guys. This is a king size bed. You have plenty of space in here. So you want to put a little couch, a little seating area. Um, like I said, they staged it perfectly. Nice and bright, big bay windows letting in all the natural light. And like I said, this these ceilings are 10 feet tall. So plenty of space, eight foot doors. You got to love that. And then we come into your spa-like master bath. Dual vanities with the white corner with the white quartz countertops you also have the white cabinets plenty of extra storage space and you gotta love the soaker tub one thing i really like a lot is how they put the handles into the wall just gives it that elegance as you come on down we have our enormous size shower right you have your shower head stainless steel and again with the glass enclosure keeps it nice crisp and classy so this is the coup de gras guys this should be another room in and of itself Wow, this is so much space in this closet. It's ridiculous. I mean, I don't, I don't even know which way to go here. Guys, I'm 6'4", 280 pounds. So, I mean, this is like a nursery in here for your clothes. So if you're looking for that type of space, it would be perfect for you to have. And then of course we have your linen closet here and your water closet here. So if you're looking at trying to buy something here in the Metroplex, this would be a great option for you. Like I said, if you're looking for something where you can be in the mix, but maybe still have a grown and sexy vibe, these condos and these townhomes around this city are perfect for you. So if you don't think Addison is the best place for you, then you can check out these videos right here about more places around the DFW. And whether you're thinking about moving in nine days or 90 days, you know, just give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email, and we'd be happy to make it a smooth move down to the Lone Star State.